Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm doing this very vibrant, colourful makeup look. I just fancy doing something very bold, very colourful, so this is the look I came up with. So if you want to see how I got to look, then just keep watching. Okay, so first of all I'm taking this Kiko eyeliner um, and it's in the shade 401, I mean 104, sorry. So it's one of the Kajal Coal Pencils and it's this in Vibrant Orange shade. And I'm just popping this on the inner third of my eye to act as a base, then blend it out with my finger. This will just help the other colours on top to be a bit more vibrant. Then for the palette, I'm using the Makeup Revolution uh, Ultimate Colour Chaos Palette. I'm initially taking this Ready Orange colour and popping this on the inner section of my eye. I think I'm just using a Real Techniques eyeshadow brush for this. Then taking this matte bright pink, I'm popping this on the middle section of uh, my eye and I'm just using a Luxie brush for this one. I can't remember the name so I will link all the brushes and products list, uh, down below. So if I can't remember the name just go down there and you'll find it. Then for eyeshadow, I'm taking one of the Kiko Infinity eyeshadows, and this is in the shade 250. It's a very pretty purple colour. I'm using my Sigma E25 brush to pop this on the outer corner of my eye. And once I've blended it, I do then take it through the crease. So it's whatever's left on the brush. I don't re-dip really it, and then I just buff it through the crease. crease. Now as you can see the outer section along the top isn't very well blended out but I do go in in a section with transition shade to help blend it all out. I just like to pack on the colour first. So I'm taking this purple shade from the Makeup Revolution palette just to intensify that purple a little bit. This is the Makeup Revolution All About the Bronze palette and I'm taking this bronze shade here and on a big fluffy brush I'm using this to act as a transition shade and also to help blend out those colours as well. And you definitely want to go for a warm colour when using colours like this as well for your transition shade. Then I'm literally just going back in with all three colours just to further intensify them on the lid. Then you just want to take any concealer of your choice and pop this under your eyes. I'm using it to clean up the outer corner of your eyes. You can use tape to begin with, but I had already done my foundation, so I decided just to use concealer to neaten it up. And use my Real Technique sponge to bend that in. And then for liquid liner today, I'm using this one from Barry M. And just creating a very simple winged eyeliner. And because I've um, use the concealer to sharpen up the edges. It acts as a great um, guideline when creating the flick. Um, so it's a good way if you struggle with um, winged eyeliner by copying the outer edge of your eyeshadow, it really helps. Now I'm taking that same Kiko eyeliner and popping this in the waterline. And then literally, I'm just going back in with those three colours I used and very lightly putting them along my lower lash line. I don't use as much eyeshadow because I want it to be slightly less pigmented on the lower lash line and just gently smoking it out. And then for lashes I'm using my Isla Lengthening Number 116 lashes and I've just put some glue on them and while I'm waiting for them to get tacky I'm just applying my Kiko Sculpt Mascara to my lower lashes. And then by the time I've done this, the glue will be tacky enough to apply the lashes. And then I just apply the lashes. I find with this glue that comes with the eyelid, you do have to wait quite a while. It's not the fastest drying glue in the world, so do wait at least 30 seconds before trying to apply it because it will be an absolute nightmare otherwise. Then just to cover the band line and any glue while it's drying I'm just going back in with the eyeliner. Then I'm using my Sleep Contour Kit in the shade Light and I'm using the darkest shade from it to contour my cheekbones. And then I take the next shade up which is slightly warmer just to do my forehead and um, around my jawline as well. Mm -hmm. 
And then I take my Royal Techniques angled blush brush just to blend that all in. And I have to say, if you haven't got this palette, I'd highly recommend it because these cream contour shades blend out amazingly. And they're super, like, just perfect, basically, and it's really affordable. So I'd highly recommend getting that. And then I'm going back in with that Makeup Revolution All About the Bronze palette and taking that same shade I used as a transition shade and using it just to bronze up my entire face. For blushes today I'm taking one of the Sleek Blush by 3 palettes and I believe I'm using the Pumpkin palette so it's very bright. I'm taking the pink shade and just popping this very lightly on the apples of my cheeks. I'm doing it very lightly because these are extremely pigmented and as you saw they're extremely bright as well so try not to go too heavy handed with this product if you have it. And obviously when I use certain products in the video, it doesn't mean you have to use the exact same products. Anything you have that's similar works perfectly so you don't need to go out and buy um, the products I use necessarily. Then I'm using the Sleek Solstice Highlighting Palette and taking the orange shade, which is my favourite one out of all three, and using this to highlight my usual places. So tops of my cheekbones, down to my cheek area, on the bridge of my nose and on my cupid's bow as well. For lips you could go quite dramatic if you wanted to, to match the eyes. You could, for this one I used the MUA Velvet Lip Lacquer in Kooky. Um, but I decided I'd prefer like a more of a pinky nude. So first of all I'm just taking this Kiko Lip Liner in the shade 702. And then I just go on top with the um, NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Eclair. Um, just to give a really pretty, slightly pinky nude lip. So it's up to you, you can either go very bold to match the eyes or you can just keep it slightly more on the nude side of things. So I really hope you enjoyed this look. If you like a step by step tutorial on this, go head over to my Facebook page or my Instagram page and it will have a breakdown in pictures of how to get this look. And don't forget to check out my Twitter um, as well. And thank you very much for watching, so please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, um, subscribe if you're not, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!